I'm going to try to give a quick walkthrough of how to use GitHub and uh, create a new project, post it to GitHub, uh, do a get, do a push, all that good stuff. So let's start from the beginning. Let's say if I'm going to create a project on my own, in other words, new project that I want to share and post to GitHub. Uh, some some assumptions I already have Eclipse, I already have the the GitHub uh, plugin for Eclipse. I already have a, a good user ID and password for for GitHub. Um, all those things are already done. So let's let's create a new project. I'm going to say new Java project, and I'm going to create. I already created week one and week two. Uh, I'm going to do week three now. So I'm going to call it CISC C 181.week3. Week three can't type today. Don't change anything else. I'm going to be using Java 1.7. Everything else is cool. Next, no changes here, and now I'll finish. And it created a blank empty project for me, or it should be creating a blank empty project for me. Okay. Notice that the icon differences between these and this is because these are shared and this one's not yet. So I have a new project called Week Three. So far, so good. I'm going to right-click Week Three. I didn't add anything to it yet. So in other words, right now there's JREs and all that stuff, but there's no source files to it. I'm going to start. Uh, it's it's best to start this from uh, from an empty project, posting to GitHub, I think. Right click, go to team, go to share project. Now it's going to ask me to, to plug this into a repository. I don't have a repository for this yet. So I'm going to create a new repository. Uh, first one says use or create a repository in parent. I don't want to care about that. Nope, repository. I'm going to create. Now I already have uh, sort of a default place where my, my uh, repositories go. This one, my user ID on my home computer is dad, so users dad git. If I go out to users dad git, you notice I've got a couple there and I've got week one and week two. So I'm going to say week three, forward slash week three. Put them wherever you want, but just put them somewhere that um, where they're common, right? Click finish. Now what happened was all the things that are going to be saved in this project now are really going to go to this repo. And this week three is there. there there's it, it, it created the file structure for all my files. If I had a class or a package or whatever, it would have been copied over to here. So far, this is we, we consider this a quote unquote blank project, but it's really not blank. There are some things that are already built for Git and for uh, Java to work. So let's go back to, let's keep this here. And so far, so good. So now we'll go back to uh, Eclipse. So, for, so I created a project. I have a repo for a local repo. Now I'm going to post it to Git. Okay. So right now I've got a local Git repository, but I don't have this thing pushed to, uh, to, to the GitHub. I'm going to say commit. I'm going to say initial check-in. Now right now there is no Git repository for this yet. I have to do it. I have to create a Git repository. So before I do this and do commit and push, I'm going to go over to GitHub. Uh, not screencaster github excuse me and log in I'll go to my repositories and I've got a, a bunch of different repositories but I don't have one for week three yet I'm gonna create a new repository click new I'm gonna call this week three don't change anything else create repository and now I get my link my URL so I'll put that on my clipboard. Let's go back over to here and say commit and push. Commit means it's going to save to my local. Push means I'm going to push it to GitHub. Now I already put the I already put it on my clipboard, and I think that the the, uh, the plugin is smart enough to to check to see if you have the URL on your on your clipboard. That's where this came from. So it's sort of like a little bit of magic. But if you don't have it there, cut and paste it from where you got it from GitHub. No changes here or here. The protocol if you have it set up so. Um, you're using SSH or using H I'm using HTTPS, but you could set it up to use SSH. For instance, if I went over here and said SSH, I can cut and paste the SSH from there and use that instead of uh, use secured socket layer instead of um, or SSH. That's a hash key f instead of that instead of HTTP. I'm going to use HTTP. Uh, user passwords already in my secure my uh, secure store which means it already already authenticated once so it remembers it. I'm going to click next. The source ref is going to be master. 
click add spec and finish let's take a look that's a good sign that little icon there if it was red there's a red icon uh, that usually means there's a problem it could be a problem with merge there we are message details are posted now let's check to see if it worked or not let's go out to the repository remember I, I when I created just a minute ago it was blank now there's stuff in it the the, the folder structure that we saw over here is now posted here pretty cool uh, let's see if it works let's go back over to the Java let's go into source I'm going to create a new uh, class and uh, you know what I want to make sure I call it the same names there we go so I'm going to create a new class CSC 181 or uh, this is going to be C main main the package I want to keep the same CISC 181 dot week 3 dot package 1 I'll give it a, a void uh, void main constructor give it a finish and I'm gonna say for the comment test I'm gonna save it and I, I have these set up so the the buttons are here and I'll pop over to the git um, repository Let's do a commit. First commit, package one. Make sure it's selected. Commit and push. I thought I had this, but that's cool. Finish. First commit, package one done. So now if I go back over to my repository, repository, week three. Notice that first commit package one, my latest commit is there. I should see a package now, hopefully. There's my package, there's my Java, and there's my comment. Very, very cool. Okay, thank you very much.